In my last video, I made cards with the Simple Stories Vintage North Pole paper line. And I said I was going to do a home decor project. So I did. So I got out. These are the number eight tags that I'm working with. They're the Tim Holtz Etc. tag. And they're thick boards. And they are made by Stampers Anonymous. Here I am just using, let's see, I am using some gesso. You do not have to use gesso. You could use white paint. I just wanted to get the tags white so that they kind of resembled snow. So this is the second tag I made. The first tag I made was a really large tag, which oddly enough is labeled small. But they just have unusual sizing for these and you can pick these up on stampersanonymous.com you do not have to be as particular as i was with that i wound up doing the front and the back of the tag to make it completely white and i use the small i think it's a six by eight paper pad by simple stories and just really quick ran it off on the paper trimmer and stuck it down and I used my Dina Wakely glue too because she's a collage artist and all of these all of these items I think can be purchased on stampersanonymous.com not the simple stories but the etc tag and the glue and the some of the Tim Holtz items they carry a lot of that so I just lined it up I used the snowflake piece of paper and hated cutting this piece but it had to be done <laughs> I wanted a snowflake background and I choose a piece of ephemera that has Santa in a sleigh now I do this a little out of order it's her ultra thick gel medium I believe is what it's called I just rub it on with my finger and you can see I punched a little hole in the top with just a standard hole puncher from Target. It's a pretty good fit. It's not exact, but it's pretty good. Once you tie your ribbon in, you cannot tell. So I glued this down and then I embossed it. Do yourself a favor, emboss it and then glue it down. I mean, it can be done either way, but it just took a lot longer to emboss it because it took a lot longer for my heat gun to get that warmed up so because the thick board's so thick but my the idea behind this is possibly oh I was going to use the December doodles jingle all the way but then I changed my mind but I used the Baroque stamp the large stamp from that set and like these are all Stampers Anonymous, so they can all be picked up. They're offering free shipping. I think I said that. So on any purchase. So I just kind of sporadically put it on there. I wanted it to look like the wind was blowing. And I'm going to put white ultra fine embossing powder on it. So that's my Brutus Monroe embossing ink. And this is my Ranger embossing powder. And I can't remember if I was real messy with this or not. <laughs> I tend to get messy with my embossing powder. So once I got that all put away, I decided to get out the heat gun, get it warmed up, and I didn't want you guys to have to wait for that, so I just kind of cut that part out. You'll see, I didn't cut this out, it's sped up, but you'll see it takes much longer than it normally would. I thought if I left the mistake in there, which is technically not a mistake, it just was time consuming but once it started heating up it it melted wonderfully and looked great so that kind of looks like blowing wind to me with the white snowflakes on the light blue paper and then the white baroque design I just loved it and it it looks it, it this is so simple so you've got your thick board that you, thick board that you've gessoed You've got your paper down and you have your stamp and you put your you choose whatever you want to put on top and I chose the I thought that fit perfectly and just I was trying to decide which side to put him in the angle of the 
kind of the wind. I use the Dina Wakely glue again, which is really it it give you have a few minutes to move things around with her with her glue and um it cleans off your fingers super easy. I think I just wiped it off with a baby wipe. And here I was going to use the jingle all the way. And then I saw this that said Santa Claus is coming to town. And that's by Queen and Company from their North Pole kit. So that's the one I wind up going with. I edge it with, I have some sprinkled sugar stickles, which I never use, but it's glue. So I edged it with that. And then I use the Tim Holtz Distress Glitter in Vintage Platinum. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So here's the, the glitter. And you'll see I just really quit. I had never even used that. It was another thing I pulled out and opened up and said, you're getting used this Christmas. You're too pretty to sit in a cubby and not get used. So I just trim it down, add some stickles. Very, very simple. This is all just so simple. And I think these would be really great to give to people, like your neighbors, that you you could just kind of wrap it up, maybe put it with a, a loaf of bread that you buy from the bakery and leave it for them on their front porch. You don't even have to be in anybody's face. But it's a nice, hey, I was thinking about you. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Or you could just wrap it up in tissue and hand deliver. Isn't that so pretty? To me, that looks like glitter from things that I have that are from my grandmother or my mother. I just love it. Okay, so I let that dry overnight. Or I let that dry for a little bit. This was all done in stages and once it was dry I just checked on it and glued it down I believe I don't let it dry overnight this I just messed around with this actually yesterday on Thanksgiving the large board which is actually the small thick board that I made I made that right after I did the video I think I made that a day prior to this. My days are kind of running together. So I use his, what is this called? I wasn't paying attention. Texture paste. And put this, he also has grit paste. You could use that too, but I wanted kind of fluffy snow. And the, the texture paste that was on the lid was a little bit dry, but it still stayed on there and, and stuck. And I'll go around and I'll, once I get to this corner, I know I speed it up because I thought, oh, this might be taxing to watch me do. But of all the things I'm doing, the easiest thing is right there, perfect in the camera for everyone to see. And on this one, I did not cover the little hole where the ribbon goes. On the large one I did, and they come with, they call them something, fasteners or something. They call them something. And you can paint and decorate and whatever you want. But I like it flat and then just to stick the ribbon through. That's a personal preference. But they give you the option if you want that little cover for the hole. So actually if you weren't using a ribbon, it would be, it would look really nice to decorate it. So, I mean, it's, this is just the simplest project that I wanted people to see, but I wanted you to see with something smaller that was not so maybe intimidating. So I put a little more stickles just to put some maybe sparkle in the sky. I thought about rhinestones, but they just stuck up so high. They kind of took attention away from Santa. And with the the gold glitter I used, and the rhinestones had silver on the back. It just, I don't know, it didn't look right. So I went with just very simple, and then this dries overnight. And you'll see in the morning, well, actually the afternoon today that I went back to get it, it dried a little bit on that stamp block. All I did was, when I was done, swipe a little more gesso on it, and it was dry in 15 minutes.
So I get out some ribbon. <laughs> this is all ribbon that I just had left over on my desk. I got out some bells and just just from my bead stash. And I get out a few more items, like little charms, but I like the bell so much by itself, I wind up leaving just the bell. Sometimes I just will really go simple and understated so that the one item that's on whatever I'm making really takes center stage. Now on the large tag, I kind of went crazy, but it's just with embellishments. It's just, you know, whatever you feel like doing and whatever you have, and you can always come back. Sometimes less is more. And after you look at something for a few days, maybe even weeks, you go, you know what? It needs something right here. So that's uh, all that ribbon, I think is from Joanne from years ago that I just keep in a ribbon box. And the twine is from Lawn Fawn. And Lawn Fawn is having free shipping right now. Any purchase for, for um, what do you call it, Black Friday. So those are the little charms, but I... I wind up not choosing them and I chose the silver bell and it just it looks so pretty and it's done and there's a plate stand and then I will I wanted to show what it looked like on a white plate stand because I'm gonna paint my at that, that natural colored one is from Amazon and it's a very small plate stand I think it would be pretty painted white and I'll probably put like a little ribbon on top like a red ribbon this is the small etc thick board I believe it is 10 five and a half inches by 10 inches you get three I think in the pack this no no that could be yeah I think you do for $5.99 you get two or three and the paper is from the Simple Stories, the scrapbook paper, but the Santa is from the small pad. There's the Baroque stamp again. I did the same thing. I used Icicle by Brutus Monroe, so clear embossing powder. And these are the thick board stickers, and I point to what I use. These are the Brads from the Simple Stories Vintage Christmas, Vintage North Pole Christmas, and I just show all scrapbook paper, except for that big collage piece. And it was very simple. And then I used from the white, but you could use any white. That is Lawn Fawn. And I use a Tim Holtz Alterations Harlequin border. And for the ho, 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 and I actually cut it in half lengthwise on my paper trimmer, and it made it really uneven and made it fit really nice. The ho, ho, ho is called Boardwalk. I honestly don't know if those are still available. And then the same with the snow with the texture paste, but I did coat it with the stickles. And that's it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and click subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.